Music module online. Loading Chris Zabriskie audio files. If you've tried the Apollo 11 experience demo, then you may have wished that you could reach out and touch that floating pencil at the end. Second place winner in the Leap Motion 3D Jam, Weightless, allows you to experience just that. You are the sole crew member of a small space station floating above Earth, and you seem to be tasked with sorting objects with your bare hands in this zero gravity environment. Human objects into one tube, and strange alien objects into another. Activate the hollow button marked Fill on the center console. The main intake hatch will open and space debris will enter the cabin. Stage 2. Your first instinct will be to try to pick things up, which, as is often the case with the leap motion, simply does not work reliably. Grasping an object invariably sends it spiraling off into the wrong direction, leaving you clumsily flailing to try to get it back. Delicate and precise nudges, often with the palm of your hand, not the tips of your fingers, seem to be the best tactic. Developer Martin Schubert actually posted a helpful tips video to help you get the best experience with the game, which is worth viewing, but it's a shame that it's necessary. Once you do start to get the hang of gently nudging the floating debris around, you begin to appreciate that interacting with weightless objects is actually a pretty clever attempt to work within the limits of the leap motion. Careful hand movement is required, and it's certainly an experience that you couldn't well replicate with any other kind of input device, but the zero-g environment means that weightless can provide meaningful object interaction without requiring you to grip things, which the leap isn't very reliable at. Additionally, you wouldn't expect weightless objects to provide as much physical resistance, which might go some way to mitigating that lack of any haptic feedback. This kind of close quarters object interaction is especially transfixing because your focus is almost always within that range at which stereoscopic 3D is at its most effective. You'll really flinch at an object coming in close to your face and worry about cutting your hands on a pair of scissors. The hand models themselves are pretty realistic looking and responsive, although they cut off at the elbow, which often breaks immersion. If you keep them at that near range sweet spot, they don't seem to glitch up as much as I've noticed in other leap motion experiences, although they are far from glitch free and are still prone to occasionally flipping your palms around. Gravtech has been added to your right hand. Gravtech has been added to your left hand. To engage your suit's new tech, activate the hollow button on your wrist. The wider environment of the space station and its spectacular view is quite beautiful, and watching the shutters open to reveal the Earth in the intro sequence is lovely. With a stirring playlist of backing music, Weightless can really be a serene place to hang out. As well as object interaction, the Leap Motion powers a novel locomotion method that eschews the need for any other input device. Hold both hands in front of you with your palms facing forward to gently fly forward in that direction. Once you're moving, you can move your hands left, right or up or down to strafe in those directions. At times, when it's working well and the background music is just so, this method feels beautiful and elegant. Unfortunately, its weaknesses soon become apparent, chiefly that your arms will begin to ache as you have to hold them in front of your face for both movement and the object interaction. You'll need to take liberal pauses. Additionally, as there's no way to reorient your view, you'll need to be able to rotate your body to match your avatar in order to navigate the station, and this means you'll quickly be made very conscious of becoming entangled by cabling. Fill sequence initiated. Main intake hatch opening.
Overall, Weightless is a lovely little experience, and is probably the most fun I've ever had with Elite Motion. The environment design is beautiful, and the interaction is inventively implemented. There's not much game to it, but in fairness you wouldn't be able to play for a very long time anyway, as its total reliance on using your arms makes it uncomfortable in extended periods. This is certainly a huge potential problem for the design of experiences that use this type of control as their core input, although admittedly perhaps simply a consequence of the brief in this instance. Although I still feel that it needs to be paired with some other input, Weightless has restored my faith in the Leap Motion somewhat. I'll certainly be checking out the other entries from the Leap Motion 3D Jam in the coming weeks. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of my impressions of them, be sure to hit subscribe.